Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. In today's video, the keyword is no. That is correct. No additional $1,200 stimulus. No help for state and local governments. No unemployment boost. No 15% increase for WIC and food stamp recipients. So if you want to know what is going on in the corrupt world of stimulus, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. It's super easy, and it's the only thing that's a yes and free. All you have to do is click the big old red subscribe button down below, and you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love what I'm about to say because I am very, very, very disappointed in our lawmakers right now. And I'm sure you are too. You wanna to talk about it? Let's talk about it. All righty guys. So as you already know, President Donald Trump calls for the stimulus negotiations to stop until after election day. President Donald Trump has ordered his negotiators to halt talks over the new stimulus package after the two sides have struggled for months to reach a deal. I have instructed my representatives to stop negotiating until after the election when immediately after I win, we will pass a major stimulus bill that focuses on hardworking Americans and small businesses. The President Trump wrote this in a series of tweets this afternoon. Now guys, I don't even know if I'm upset with our president right now. And hear me out, hear me out. We're gonna put a bookmark there because we're gonna come back, okay? He does not get to pass go either. But what I'm saying, I think I'm more disappointed in the lawmakers. And I'm more disappointed that the people that we voted in as the American people could not reach a deal to help the American people. That's what I'm more upset because you mean to tell me that this pandemic has been going on for six months. And in six months, we only had one $1,200 stimulus check. You know, and I know, even if a second stimulus check was approved, it's not like this money was about to sit in our banks. How many of you still owe right now rent for this month? You need groceries to feed your family and your children. You've lost your jobs. How many of you behind on your car notes or just behind on bills? Let me know down in the comments. I'll wait, I'll wait. Because you mean to tell me that the fact that the lawmakers, is not even about a Democratic Party or a Republican Party, but the fact that we cannot keep the focus on the American people. We just had a few days ago where American Airlines and United was laying off another 19,000 to 30,000 people. And this is a package that was needed to help the American people. And somehow all we can do in the past six months is point the finger at each party and no one could somehow lay down the burden and say, you know what, wave the flag, I surrender, let's go ahead and pass something for the American people. And we as a people need to understand, these are the people that we voted into office. So before we start to point the finger and say, well, it's this person's fault, it's that person's fault, we need to take accountability on who are we voting into office? What have we done? What have we done? I just can't believe this. Like, the fact is that for months now, it, you know what, give it to me straight, no chaser. You could have told me back in July that, you know what, there wasn't gonna be no stimulus package. Don't strain me along and keep, oh, well, you know, we're gonna do this. We're still in talks. You know, it hasn't died down yet. Don't fire those people. No, no, help is on the way. Don't strain me along. And then now you come back and say, you know what? Let's just wait till the after the election. And then our president. This is the same president that came to us in July and August, and August and he said, I want bigger packages than the Democrats. I want a generous stimulus package. You said this back in July, back in August, and now you're asking the American people to wait one more month. One more month. And I'm promising you, I'm going to get you a major stimulus bill after I win. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We talked about a few days ago, we talked about a week ago, we talked about the $200 prescription drug cards. I can't find any information on that. No one has received the cards. Cards have not went out. No information about these cards. And I don't get it. 
I don't get it. In a statement responding to the president's tweets, Nancy Pelosi said that President Trump showed his true colors, putting himself first at the expense of the country with the full complicity of the GOP members of Congress. She added that walking away from the coronavirus talks demonstrated that President Trump is unwilling to crush the virus. Now listen here, honey girl. Like Nancy Pelosi, you have no room to even speak on this because after we know meetings that you declined to have, and that you wanted a comprehensive package. And I'm not pointing the finger at you. I'm just stating what was put out in the media. So before we once again point the finger, what can we do as the American people? Like everyone know what the problem is, but what is the solution? That's all I'm asking. What is the solution? Instead of, oh, they did this and we did this. What is the solution? How does the solution help the American people? And once we have that, that's where we start at. That's where we get back to the deal. The American people need unemployment. Boom. Let's go ahead and make this. The American people need this. They need more to children are at home for school. Boom. Let's go ahead and give the 15% increase. Or you know what? No, let's not do 15%. Let's do 7%. That's where we start. What do we all come together on? What do we all agree? And from my understanding, the general consensus was the American people needed help. And for those that are going to be in the comments, get a job. The American people, just get a job. You can't depend on the government. Last time I checked, the numbers for this whole pandemic and coronavirus are skyrocketing in some states. Not only are they increasing in some states, unemployment is steadily rising every single week. People are being laid off left and right, and they have children at home that they are now schooling, and they're trying to find a job. So before we start to turn into politicians and point the fingers, let's be honest with ourselves and say, hey, people are trying. Give people that grace as well. So that's what we have, guys. Now, of course, some of the actual tweets, once again, it says that uh, the president appears to argue that the U.S. economy does not need any more stimulus at all. He wrote that we are leading the world in economic recovery and the best is yet to come. Now, this comes hours after the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell urged Congress to approve more fiscal stimulus. He said that the lack of sustained support from the federal government could lead to a weak recovery, creating unnecessary hardship for households and businesses. The key word was unnecessary. So that's what we have, guys. I don't know. I don't know. All I can say is vote 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 and i need you to vote and think about the local elections that you have and who are you putting into office as well but you know what they said that 2020 is the year for vision and i think that if nothing else our vision has become so clear this year i think this year has changed us as a country and i think we're going to be better i think we're going to be better Moving along to unemployment, state official warns residents unemployment benefits are taxable and to be prepared. This year, more than ever, people who are forced to file unemployment claims after the pandemic either left workers furloughed or laid off. The South Carolina Department of Revenue wants to remind people that unemployment benefits are taxable for those who have received unemployment or pandemic related compensation recommends preparing now so they do not get caught off guard with an unexpected tax payment. Individuals can choose to have their taxes voluntarily withheld from payments, make them quarterly estimated payments, or you can pay your taxes next year when they file the 2020 income tax return. Now also people in California, you can now apply for unemployment benefits again after the two week reset. Now, we remember that the two week reset where they were going through and they were trying to decipher which were fraud claims and which were not. But according to LA, yes, the reset period was so that the state's unemployment development department could work through the backlog while making improvements to its systems technology, enabling it to cut down on claims processing times and fraud. So good job, California, you can now start filing. New Jersey workers still waiting their $300 unemployment benefit promise for October that they said that, hey, the Department of Labor is expected that the benefits will be available in October, but it hasn't given a, or excuse me, but it wasn't specific about a date 
or what, if anything, workers had to do to get the benefit. Workers can get the maximum benefit of the $800 and it will be distributed to you as a lump sum payment rather than the weekly payment. Now, the IRS is extending the deadline for the stimulus for the first stimulus check for up to 9 million Americans to register to receive their federal stimulus check. They decided to go ahead and do this after a lot of people were still owed a stimulus and they couldn't, well, they probably won't be able to meet the October 15 deadline. They said, we took the step to provide some more time to those who have not yet received a payment to register to get their money, including those in low income and under, underdeserved communities that they issued in a statement as well. Now, care providers ask Congress to provide hazard pay in the next stimulus bill. So as the cases increase, in Montana and elsewhere in the country, healthcare workers are calling on Congress to pass a bill to provide more financial assistance for them and others that are on the front lines of this pandemic. So guys, we're still in the fight with this pandemic. On Monday, healthcare workers gather outside St. Patrick's Hospital to demand the U.S. Senate pass the Health Economic and Recovery Omnibus, Omnibus Emergency Solutions Act or the HEROES Act. Why well, I had to read all that? Okay, but while members of the Service Employees International Union 775 sit at the safe di distance with hazard pay, signs home care providers, Celeste Thompson and a statement from a co-worker, Lori, describing all the work that they do from their clients, from giving them baths to medications to running errands with them. They said that, hey, Senator Danes is pushing several bipartisan priority in the Senate's COVID-19 package was important is putting something forward that can get signed into law. And we've seen for months now that this will not happen with the HEROES Act. So that's what we have, guys. I don't know. One thing I would say about this is it's news. It is news. I'm not giving you hope. I'm not giving you. But what I'm saying is it's news. So we could talk about this today and literally tonight or an hour from now, things can change and we'll be back here and like, hey, stimulus was approved. Woohoo! You know, so things can change. And, but as of right now, where we stand at at 5 20 p.m., it's a no deal as of right now. So I'll still decide to, you know, I'll come on daily and keep you updated. And whether you decide to tune in or not, that is always your choice. But as always, please like, comment, subscribe. And guys, tonight, I really, really encourage you to do some deep diving on the inside and how can we get ourselves out this position that you know what in the future maybe we don't need the government you know what can we do is there any extra money that we can save is there something that we can do and i'm not pointing the finger at you i'm not blaming you i don't want you to think that i'm upset with you no one knew that this pandemic was going to happen this was something that we all have experienced for the first time in my lifetime in your lifetime and so now that we're here we're all trying to navigate it the best way that we know how you know so for some people this was the first time but what can we do that in the future, if something like this happens again, we won't be worried about it. Let me know your thoughts, your comments below. I know that this probably was not the most positive video, but I like to say that I thought it was pretty positive. But also, we have to take that inside accountability for ourselves as well. Who are we voting in? What are we doing with our finances? What are we doing? Is there anything that we can do where we don't depend on the government? We don't depend on our jobs. We don't depend on something that we have something on the side that is ours. What can we do for that? And I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a YouTuber with Millie Vanilli Braids coming to you. Okay. That's all I have. As always, talk to you later, guys. Bye.